The gallbladder is part of the digestive system and it lives in the upper abdomen underneath the liver. It's not really a worthless organ, although some people think that it is like the appendix. Um, it does have a function, uh, which is to store bile. Bile is made by the liver and it is excreted into the bile tree. And when we're not eating, the bile tree is closed at the bottom, so the bile sort of backs up into this little side pouch, which is the gallbladder. So when we eat, the um, gallbladder squeezes and dumps out a bunch of bile into the small intestine to help us absorb fats from the diet. And that's really all the gallbladder does. When a gallbladder isn't working right, people tend to want to have it removed. And the uh, two big problems that we run into are gallstones that can form over time in the gallbladder or a dysfunctional gallbladder or what some people would refer to as a diseased gallbladder. Um, and when those things occur, there are two families of symptoms that we typically come across. And with the gallstones, typically people know someone who's had episodes uh, and those typically are pain under your ribs on the right and nausea, uh, vomiting, and people just feel awful. Usually 30 to 45 minutes after eating, um, typically it's with a fatty meal. There's a second picture that people will often present with a, a bad gallbladder, which is more just general feeling of uh, abdominal discomfort, not even pain. Uh, I kind of call it the blah. And they'll often be queasy, nauseated, bloating. Uh, pain isn't necessarily uh, quite as prominent, uh, but it also typically is after eating.